Hello everyone, welcome back to Circle Time. I am Mrs. Mo. What is your name? It's lovely to see you here once again. Do you remember our day of the week song? If you do, sing along. If you don't know it, I'm sure you'll be singing along very soon. There are seven days of the week. There are seven days of the week. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good singing and well done everyone. So what is the day of the week? What day is it today? Yesterday was Sunday. That means today is Monday. So today is Monday. Let's put that over here. So the day of the week is Monday. Today is Monday. Can you see my lovely board? Before we talk about what is on my board, we're just going to do a quick activity. I need all of you to stand up where you are and do what I say. Okay? Are you ready? Are you standing up? So now I want everybody to put their hands up. Hands up everyone. Now hands down. Let's do it again. Hands up. Now put your hands down. Well done, everyone. So now I need you to wave your hands. Are you waving? Now wave your hands fast. Wave it fast. As fast as you can. Wave, wave, wave. Now I want you to wave your hands slowly. Wave it slowly. Good. Slowly. Now wave it fast again. Fast, 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 fast. As fast as you can. Now wave it slowly. Wave it slowly. Good job, everyone. Now stop. Now I want you to open your mouth. Open wide. Now close your mouth. Open your mouth. Close your mouth. Open your mouth. Close your mouth. Good job and well done, everyone. Okay, so let's go to our lesson today. We're going to talk about opposites. So we're going to talk about opposites. What are opposites? Opposites are words that oppose each other, okay? So opposites are words that contradict each other, okay? So let us see what these opposites are like. All right, so I have a picture here. Can you see the picture? I have an old lady and I have a young baby. So what is the opposite of old? What is the opposite of old? The opposite of old is young. The opposite of old is young. Okay, so if you are not old, you are young. Good job, everyone. So over here, I have a picture of doors. Okay, I have a picture of doors. So we have a door that is closed and we have a door that is open so what is the opposite of close so when your door is not closed that means your door is open so the opposite of close is open the opposite of open is closed okay so if your door is not open then it's closed and if your door is not closed then it's open okay well done everyone let's go to the next thing on our board we have small and large. So the opposite of small is large. The opposite of small is large. So this is a large elephant. Elephants are usually very big and large. And cats, compared to an elephant, is, is a small animal. A cat is a small animal, okay? So the opposite of small is large. The opposite of small is large. In the next picture, I have two cups. One is empty and one is full. So the opposite of empty is full. The opposite of empty is full. So what's the opposite of full? It's empty. So if something is not full, then it's empty. And if something is not empty, then it is full. Good job, everyone. Now I have on, off, on, off, okay? So the opposite of off 
is on. The opposite of off is on. Okay, so the opposite of on is off. The opposite of on is off. Good job, everyone, and well done. Now we have loud and quiet. Loud and quiet. The opposite of loud is quiet. The opposite of loud is quiet. Okay, so now I need you to scream your name loudly. I'm going to scream my name loudly. Mrs. Mo! <laughs> so I need you to scream your name loudly as well. Yeah, well done and good job everyone. Now I need you to whisper your name quietly. I'm going to whisper my name quietly. Mrs. Mo. Can you whisper your name too? Good job, everyone. So the opposite of loud is quiet. Well done. And lastly, we have tall and short. So this is a tall tree and this is a short tree. So the opposite of tall is short. The opposite of tall is short short so we have other things that are opposites okay so we have day and night we have big and small we have little and big okay so there's different other words that are opposites can you think of any other opposite words i need you to think about it well done everyone and good job for doing the exercise so let us go to the next thing on our board what is the letter of the day what is the letter of the day what letter is this do you know this letter what letter is this well done if you said why so this is the letter y this is the letter y so what sound does y make do you know the sound y makes e e e so y makes the e sound E sound okay so we have y in yo 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 okay and we have y in yellow 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 okay yo 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 oh well done everyone so what other things can you find around you that starts with the letter y can you look around and find something else that starts with the letter Y? So now we are going to practice how to write the letter Y. We are going to bring our practice board and we'll practice how to write the letter Y. I will draw a straight line to show us the line that we have on our notebooks. Okay? So to draw the uppercase Y, We'll draw two slanted lines that meet downwards, okay? So we'll draw the first slanted line, and we'll draw the second slanted line, and they meet at the bottom, okay? And then we we'll draw a straight line that goes down just to the top of our line, okay? So we're going to write the lowercase y, all right? So we'll draw a nice continuous, okay, like a u, and then at the top we bring a line that goes downwards and it curves okay so that's how you write the lowercase y you need to practice your writing every day and that's how you get better at it good job everyone and well done now let's go to the next thing on our board our number song do you remember your number song let's count to 20 let's count to 20 would you count with me would you count with me? Let's count to 20. Let's count to 20. Count with me. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 well done and good job everyone you're counting up to 20 now and that is very amazing well done everyone so let's talk about the weather today what's the weather like where you live is it sunny with lots of sunshine and hardly any clouds is it partly sunny where you can see a bit of the sun and some clouds 
is it cloudy where you can't see the sun at all just clouds in the sky or is it cloudy and wet is it wet and raining where you are okay so the weather today where i am is sunny so the weather today is sunny let's put that over here the weather today is sunny good job everyone well done you've done an amazing job today singing your day of the week song learning your opposites learning about the letter y singing the number song and talking about the weather i'll see you again tomorrow bye for now